during the Battle of Installation 04, after Master Chief and Cortana had secured Halo's control room. Cortana interfaced with the system, and began to unravel a terrible secret. She didn't know exactly what it was, but she knew it was not good. And to make matters worse, Captain Keys had gone with several squads of marines in an attempt to beat the Covenant to what they believed to be a weapons cache. But they couldn't be more wrong. Realising there was little time, Cortana dispatched the Master Chief to stop Captain Keys from going any further with his mission. Hitching a ride with Echo 419, the Spartan descended into the dark, rotten swamp. The place of the last transmission of the Captain. Chief attuned himself to his environment, and found little activity on his threat indicator. He spotted a crashed pelican, and after analysing the wreckage, he ascertained that the pelican had not been shot down, but crashed after it hit the heavy foliage during liftoff. The dead crew all wore navy insignia, which suggested that the pelican had dropped off its marine complement. Satisfied with a basic understanding of what had happened, he snagged a shotgun off the floor, believing it would come in handy, and pressed forward. He also passed a crashed Covenant Spirit dropship. With no signs of life, and cargo boxes scattered around the crash site. He pondered if the Covenant were trying to deliver something. Possibly weapons? Or were they trying to take something away? He could not be sure. The Covenant opposition before him was little more than frightened grunts and jackals, which the Spartan quickly cut down with his assault rifle. With the immediate area clear, he approached a forerunner structure, and wondered if this was what Keys had been looking for. He spotted a pile of dead Covenant bodies, killed by plasma fire. Friendly fire, perhaps? Or marines with Covenant weapons? Neither explanation made sense, and neither did the lack of real opposition. With nowhere else to go, the Spartan descended a lift, believing he was getting closer. A group of red dots appeared on his threat indicator, but did not respond to his presence. Perhaps the Covenant was used to hearing the lift come up and down. Circling the room, he found a group of grunts and jackals come together near a hatch. 49 rounds later, and a grenade as well, and they were all dead. Beyond the hatch, Chief found two dead marines without their dog tags, killed by plasma fire, suggesting Keys and the marines had run into the Covenant, taken casualties, and pressed on. He also found a fear-crazed marine who fired at the Spartan. The round knocked Chief back on his heels. He snatched the weapon out of the marine's hands, who then began to tell the Chief about the monsters, who he assumed to be the Covenant, but the marine insisted they were something else. The Spartan suggested the Marine take himself topside and wait for dust off, and so handed the pistol back to the Marine. But the Marine continued to blather and cold into a ball. The young soldier would not make it without Chief's help. Making a tough decision with the amount of lives at stake, Chief decided to reluctantly push on to find the Captain and the rest of the Marines. But one thing was clear from the Marines rambling, and that was the Captain was in a heap of trouble. Chief took comfort as he passed the dead elite riddled with bullets. After passing several more rooms, he found a dead marine in a large pool of blood. Chief approached a door that slid open, dropping a dead marine into his hands. The Spartan's pulse quickened. There was no target in sight. He span around the way he came. He felt like something was watching him. He knew something was watching him. He noticed thousands of bullet casings, practically covering the floor. Along with a helmet cam, belonging to Marine Jenkins. He inserted the camera's data chip into his helmet and watched the video through his HUD. It started off routine. However, things became ominous with a dead, disfigured elite, and then a clip of the Marines passing through the same door Chief had just come through. He wanted to kill the video there, but forced himself to continue watching when one of the Marines mentioned having a bad feeling. There were odd rustling noises, followed by a hatch breaking open with hundreds of fleshy blobs entering the room and then began the screaming. He heard the captain say they were surrounded, as the video went black, as something stuck Jenkins in the back. For the first time since parting with Cortana at the control room, Chief wished she was with him. Not just because she might understand what was going on, but because he'd become too reliant on her company, and he now felt very much alone. He went to leave, but the door did not open, causing a rock to form in his gut. He was suddenly overcome with a terrible sense of dread. And then he saw a flash in the corner of his eye, where there was one, there was many. Flood infection forms skittering towards him. 
he decided not to fire automatically, and fired in bursts taking out clumps of the infection forms, as well as running around the room stretching the flood formations. He was then attacked by a flood combat form, which at first he thought was a corpse falling on him. But reality was soon made clear when the infected elite leapt towards him, in which the Spartan dropped after firing 20 or so rounds. He then made the realisation that the combat forms were in fact dead Covenant that had been reanimated. After escaping the room, he came across a battle between the Covenant and the new hostiles, where he allowed them to take each other out and continued. He came face to face with another infected elite, whose head was canted at a twisted angle. The Spartan suddenly felt an unaccustomed feeling. Fear? Helplessness and powerless to stop a looming threat. There was no way it was going to happen to him. The Spartan approached the lift which Hope would take him up. Instead, it descended. Chief really began to miss Cortana's navigational guidance. He then came face to face with something he'd rather not see, an infected human. One that he recognised as Private Manuel Mendoza, despite the disfigurations. Chief reached out to Mendoza, trying to tell him to come with him. Mendoza replied by slashing Chief with a tentacle, almost draining his energy shield entirely. He blew Mendoza apart with his shotgun, and Witness as an infection form escaped Mendoza's body. Was this how they gathered their hosts? The Spartan thought. Chief finally felt relief, as the next lift descended, fearing it would take him down yet another level. At the top of the lift was an exit to the swamp, as well as a squad of marines who were alive. In contact with Echo 419, Chief led the marines to a structure, where they were joined by several sentinels who began cutting down the combat forms. Unfortunately for the marines, they were all eventually slain, and consumed by the flood of infection forms. It was here the Chief first met 343 Guilty Spark, who informed Chief that the hostiles he had encountered were called the Flood. Before Chief could get an understanding for who this new AI was, he was teleported away, just moments before Foehammer could come to save him. And that concludes this lore video on some of the thoughts and feelings Chief felt when he first encountered the Flood. Thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed, leave a like, and stay in the loop with more Halo content by hitting the bell icon and subscribing. And until next time Spartans, this is Josh, signing off.